Hey there, Chad Bonninger here for High University Libraries. I have several students who are doing a research assignment right now that requires them to look at possibly creating a new beverage product or create a new beverage establishment. Um, this video is going to show you how to find you know, demographics of your potential customers or demographics of people who are already using existing products in that uh, product category. So we're going to use a database called Simmons One View to find consumer demographics to better understand your future consumer for your product. So here you go. So when you first get to Simmons One View, you're presented with the cross tab in the in the profile uh, section of of the database. If you're just needing um, quick information about a product category or, or someone who uses a particular product and just need a quick report, you'll find that under quick reports. And that's probably the best place to go if you're if you're new to Simmons One View and you just want to see what kind of data is available there. So I'm going to go to quick reports here. And for my example, uh, I'm going to do a microbrew. I'm going to, I'm going to look for people who uh, um, enjoy microbrews or buy microbrews or drink microbrew or craft beer. And for that, I'm going to use a demographic profile, but I need something to, to uh, measure. And because people who drink microbrews are my target consumer, I'm going to use that as my target over here. So I'm going to click edit, and this will open up the menu here where I can go in and select uh, by by area here and I'm going to go down and find uh, here we have alcoholic drinks beverages and you, and you may have to either browse here or you can use the search box I would actually can you know strongly encourage you to use the browse feature because a lot of times you'll say oh wow I didn't know they had like malt wicker liquor and whiskey whiskey and rye and bourbon whiskey and that sort of thing too so um, browsing can can often lead you to other things that might be relevant to you. In my case, I'm going to use craft beer and I'm going to say, do you drink? And rather than just simply drag this over here right now, I'm going to make sure this is checked because this will ensure we have the beer. Do you drink? And then the answer in our in our in our in our target there. So I'm going to grab this guy and put him over here in yes and then close that out. And so here we have of the of the total sample size, uh, 1,783 people said they drink craft beer. Okay, so uh, so that's that's what we're looking at there. All we have to do is click on demographic profile, and then we run our analysis, and this will give us a quick demographic profile of those people who who drink uh, craft beer. And this demographic profile is, is based on all adults in the U.S., those over the age of 18. You can see the total sample size in this particular six-month study was 11,000 people, of which uh, 1,783 people answered, yes, we drink craft beer, uh, which is roughly 17% of the study there. What we find here, we see that the craft beer folks look like they're pretty educated folks. Uh, looks like uh, they are mostly white. Uh, looks like they're mostly male and it looks like um, you know here's the age breakdown and what's curious about this you're looking at uh, I'm probably 40.9 years old as of as of making this video I'm also married I'm also a homeowner I also have children so uh, you could probably infer from that that your friendly business librarian Chad Boninger likes craft beer and that would very much be true um, so this looks at the demographic profile of all adults in the US now if we wanted to we can go back here and say, well, let's, I really want to know, I'm going to open a, a, a new brew shop in Ohio. So I want to know about people in Ohio. So what you can do is go and change the base here and go under, um, we have to find demographics, lifestyle demographics. And there's all kinds of things that you can set as your base here. But here we have state codes. And we can go down and say, all right, I just want to, I'm interested in people who live in Ohio who answered the survey. We can do that. And now we can run our analysis. And of that sample, the sample size for the total people was 465, which is still a pretty decent sample size here. And what we find is that uh, rather than a kind of a staircase trend over here in education, it looks like most people are, are highly educated in Ohio. It uh, looks like the income distribution is broken down a little bit more evenly. And it looks like the median age was lowered, uh, possibly because of different college towns or maybe you know, the cities of Columbus or whatnot may drive the age down or something like that. But you'll also notice uh, that uh, fewer uh, fewer people have children. Uh, we also see that the 
the uh, income, uh, median household income is actually about $14,000 lower than the national average there. So that's kind of interesting to look at that compared to the, to the, uh, to the state sample. So we're going to go back to the cross tab category or cross tab tab up here to really show you how you can use these columns and rows to kind of create your own uh, analysis there. So I'm going to go under um, what I want us to do is find demographics of people who use a particular product. In this case, I will I will go in and look at uh, let's look at make sure this is selected and let's just look at gender and let's look at race. And if we go under um, education highest level completed you don't you can drag this over and get everything or let's just say you want um, people who graduated high school I'm just going to use my uh, control key to grab what I want here uh, people who uh, graduated college and let's do graduated college or more and let's say got a degree in graduate school so if we do that we're just going to get those ones we selected there and now we need our column and so what we can do up here is go under and look at our product again. I'm going to close out our demographics. I'm going to once again go under our alcoholic drinks. And we'll look at um, craft beer and do you drink? And I want to say yes. We'll put that guy there. And if we didn't do this question mark, it would just say yes. We want to make sure this, this check mark is checked here. Otherwise, it'll just say yes. And it's important to, to do that because uh, this way it will allow me to go in and say, let's look at people who do you drink bourbon whiskey? And let's drag this guy over here. You can see it'll, it'll actually give us the question there, which is why that check mark is important to be checked there. Uh, do you drink uh, uh, cognac? All right, we'll drag that over there. And you kind of just basically see how you can create a master list uh, and, a, and a nice spreadsheet of, of, of people who drink particular drinks or use a particular product and that sort of thing. So we're going to run our cross tab here. And this is going to give us our data uh, from which we can go in as well and export this as an Excel file if we want to. And you can see this is this is really pretty neat stuff here. So if we go and how to read this thing, the way you read this thing, you've got this vertical and horizontal percentage. So what this will tell you, I'm just going to show you a, a brief way to look at this. Let's do the vertical one first. So we look at vertical one for the for the males, which says 65.1%. If you start at the top because it's vertical, remember that. So we're going to go, of those who people who said yes, they drink craft beer, 65.1% of them are male. Okay, so that's kind of how that works. All right. And if we scroll down some more, if we can get another example, let's look at maybe um, either race or educational attainment uh, let's see um, of those who uh, drink craft beer 15.7 percent of them said that high school was their highest graduation or highest education level if you compare that to do you drink bourbon whiskey that's pretty interesting 26 percent of those who drink bourbon whiskey um, graduated high school as their highest education level. So that's pretty interesting to look at uh, from comparing those kind of drinks. You, you can see the kind of co correlations, comparisons you can make uh, with this kind of data. And it's incredibly useful for understanding your consumer base of your current product or future product or for understanding competitors of similar brands. Hope this video helped you better understand how to use Simmons One View to, to really hone in and understand the demographics of your customer base or the customer base of your competitors. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. We've got to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.